our first focus is the new variant which has been detected in few countries and that has now been named as a variant of concern officially by the WHO. The World Health Organization has declared the new COVID variant a variant of concern and named it the B.1.1.529 strain. That's the technical, the scientific term of the name of the strain. But it's been called as Omicron. It's been named Omicron by the WHO. So far, what is known is that the new variant Omicron has a significant number of mutations and is said to be highly transmissible or infectious. In its statement, the WHO said that preliminary reports suggest that the new variant being detected suggests risk of reinfection. The World Health Body has asked countries to enhance surveillance of cases and submit genome sequence related data to the World Health Organization as much as they can. The number of cases detected in other countries has also increased. In the latest, a case of the new variant has been detected in Belgium, a person who was not vaccinated. Remember, Omicron has already been reported in South Africa, Botswana, Hong Kong and Israel. Hello, my family live in Australia and I'm going back to see them before the country shuts down. So I don't know when I'll be able to return. I had to leave my job behind and getting on a plane today. I'm here visiting family. It's been uh, quite a while since the lockdown started. Eventually, we waited for the, the gates to open and the red list, South Africa, to come off the red list. I uh, booked my ticket. I landed on Monday. And then last night, I heard things were closing again. People are annoyed because it's, it's happening. And I can understand people's annoyance because these things just happen. And yeah, South Africa relies on tourism. Africa relies on tourism. And if that's not happening, the continent suffers. The biggest sense of panic or worry for me is the African continent, the people, the animals. These restrictions being imposed, while I understand they are necessary to a certain extent, the people I work with on average have at least five or ten people depending on them for money. And if they don't have that, then they have to resort to other means to earn money for their family. Right, and uh, there you heard a lot of people actually who are, uh, you know, planning to travel or who are at the airports are actually expressing their concerns because several countries have already started putting travel restrictions. The United States, Canada, Saudi Arabia and Cyprus have become the latest countries to restrict travel from southern Africa. Italy has banned visitors from South Africa into the country. France has suspended flights from South Africa for 48 hours. In fact, Germany will also ban most travel from southern parts, uh, southern nations in Africa. The UK has applied travel restrictions on arrivals from six southern African countries. EU states have also urged to suspend travel from seven African countries. And South Africa, in fact, has reacted to all this and said that the travel bans over the new variant are unjustified. Meanwhile, back in the country, the Indian government has issued a fresh advisory to all states asking them to be extra cautious and conduct rigorous screening of international travellers, especially from the high-risk countries where Omicron cases have in fact been reported. The centre has also assured that as of now, there are no cases of the new variant in the country.